hi guys welcome back to another cooking tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i make this delicious punky stew stay tuned get your popcorn ready because this is about to be a movie next video i'm going to show you guys how to cook punky i think i've done a video like that before but that was like a long time ago and i think the video is fading away so today i decided to cook punky because i feel like eating it so i was like no let me just do another video of it since the other one is fading away so this is going to be the clear and real explained version of it so i have everything here i'm going to go through everything but the first thing i'm going to go through is the fish i have some tilapia fish i um make sure i clean it actually i got it cut at the um store and i just season it and the season that i use for it is i use some oxtail season you can use um any season of your type that's fine you can use your own seasoning it's cool and this i use this um maggi and i use some thyme leaves right here and that's it that's the only thing i use for the um the, the fish so next thing I'm going to show you guys is the chicken and meat. So on this bowl I have some chicken and some um, cow meat and some uh, pig feet. If I do this you can see under. And next thing is I'm going to show you the punky of itself. Here they call it squash but African people, I mean not African, so us here you know, we call it punky. So, this is the only one I'm going to use because, you know, I came to find out today that my sister don't eat punky, so I'm just going to cook a little bit of this. I mean, not a little bit, I'm cooking this, but I'm not adding, because I bought two of these, so I'm just cooking this all, in, this all in one. And my next thing is, this is some onions, bell pepper right here, and some eggplants. This is for me to fry. I wash everything and slice everything and this is my blend stuff I have my bell pepper here tomato and a little bit of onions and what what else you're going to need is oil that's it so now the first thing we're going to go fry is the fish the chicken and the meat I'm not going to fry because I don't want it to be fried so that one I'm just gonna leave it because it's already boiled and seasoned and I use the same seasoning for that too so yeah or you can use the seasoning that you want so for the pepper side this one i know you guys gonna say oh it's a lot of pepper you can put the size of pepper you want if you know you don't eat that much of pepper so put the one that you want the amount of pepper you want so for the seasoning for the uh, maggi side i'm going to use this four cubes two shrimp and two jumbos so now the next we're going to do is we're going to go to the kitchen and then go start frying the fish. Now we're about to fry the fish. So I'm gonna pour more oil on it. You love me one, I love you two. Baby, make we collapse. show a little bit of it how I'm cutting this a little bit of how I'm cutting it because I don't want to I want to cut it off camera because I don't want to focus on the camera too much and then I cut myself because this one Thank you. 
and when you're done cutting it you can cut it any size of piece you want you can cut it bigger than that you can cut it smaller anyone so now I'm going to show you guys where I'm going to be frying my fish I'm not going to continue on that because I'm buying 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 what's up Okay, so I'm checking on the fish, but still needs to dry more. So now I'm just gonna leave it so it can cook there because it's probably not probably it's it's gonna be the last thing that I will um, put in the soup. So I'll just leave it while it, it fries. Then I'll start so, cooking the food right now. Now I put my pot in the fire. I'm just gonna use a small size of pot. your oil anything i mean your um onions anything so now i'm gonna put everything So for me, now it's the time for me to put my white maggi. If you're using white maggi, then you can do the same thing. I'm going to use a small teaspoon of it. <laughs> so I'm back. I like when it's cooked like that. It's really cooked like that. That's why I like to close the lid when I'm done. Because by the time I'm done cooking all this, um, thing is going to be really cook nice. So now I'm going to A jam that's a PJ Call it Private jet is a PJ Call it Ladies step to the dance floor Call it Make the thing drop get an encore Call it Bacardi keep it I'm about to put my blend pepper and tomato inside And the other thing I forgot to show you guys is my tomato paste Tomato paste is recommended. It's recommended for this video. So I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put like two two teaspoons because the rest I'm gonna use it. Done, close the lid again. And leave it to cook for about five, ten minutes and come back. So we are back again. So next thing we're gonna put now is the pumpkin. See how nice I cut it. Now put all your seasoning inside and don't worry about the pumpkin it's gonna cook when you put it last it's gonna cook nicely you don't want to put it first because if you put it first then it's gonna be all mashed up in the um, soup and all that you don't want that
done, almost done already. So now I'm gonna turn the heat slow, really low, so I can just steam. So that's it for the video. You can eat it with rice. You can eat it with rice. <clears throat> Anything basically. If you, even if you want to eat it with fufu, you can eat it with fufu. So I'm going to eat now rice when I'm done. But for now, that's it. I'm going to show you guys how I'm eating mine. <laughs> 